Hello, my and welcome back to another Fabian Show. I'm Jacob and Javis here, and today we're talking about the trailer reaction for Crystal Creations, which is a sub pack where you can create jewelry. I heard the jewelry kind of suck. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited this came out way earlier today. I was asleep. I'm currently on a weird time schedule right now due to some home things. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. I'm curious obviously i did not buy the kits so i didn't do anything with those because i didn't think they looked good and i'm being a little bit more picky with what i spend money on especially for the sims so we'll see a crystal creations it incites me i have a feeling god buy the stop pack because it's a stop pack i'm excited for stop packs to be back i do agree i saw someone say something about like i'm excited for niche things being stop packs and i think that's a good idea too so if there is no sound in this video by the way for the video it's because I'm afraid the song, whatever they're doing in the background, is going to be copyrighted. Is, uh, I was like, is this a new world? But I don't think so. Okay. Now I'm blown away. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, that's, oh, not cool. But it's not supposed to be, I don't think, to be fair. I mean, I'm happy that the crystals and stuff are getting upgraded, to be fair, just because I feel like they definitely need to be. Okay. Okay. I don't think Joy looks that bad. A little tacky, a little bit. This is interesting. Oh, that's cute. Shoes are interesting. Okay. Okay. Cause of sense. I wonder what the last thing was about. Oh, February 29th! Just a right around the corner. I think that's next Thursday, right? It is next Thursday. Okay, we'll definitely learn more. All right, let's go ahead and head up here. See what it says. Since where crystal creation players can unlock a new geomology skill that will have your sims collecting an assortment of colorful crystals and metals to customize stellar cons uh, creations that can affect sims moods, relationships, careers, and lives. I mean, that's nice. I don't know if I want every item of mine that I make to be something that could benefit. Maybe I just want something cute, but hey, I'll take it. It's when you if we cut crystals around the house, use them for crafting stunning pieces of jewelry. Okay, from designing beloved treasures like handcrafted engagement rings, which I think is super cute, or custom jewelry to producing unique collectibles that can be sold for some millions, and some can complete their own. Okay. Nothing is more special than in pieces you handcraft with love. With crystal creations, a sim a sim can create over a thousand different premiations of bejeweled items choosing to make fashion statements. I wonder what that means though. Like a thousand divided by three, because obviously there's different sets and things. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's an it's a bold a bold move. To create these thousand items and develop a germ geomology skill. The shiny new skill can be learned through practice your sims crafts with new geology table. Craft jewelry and cut gemstones in stunning new designs as your sim skills improve, so will their quality and their creations at the genealogy <laughs> gemology, I'm so sorry. Sims can cut gemstones and make stunning jewelry. Da, 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 da. These include assorted rings, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings, which are silver, gold, or rose gold, which I do think is kind of cute. You can also use 22 metals found in the Sims 4 worlds, including Back to Night, Death Metal, and Ramata. Send a message of love, friendship by selecting the perfect shape of a gemstone, choosing different 10 different cuts, including a heart, pump off, or gnome shape. I don't know if it would have gone gnome shape, but that's fine. Alright, to connect with crystal energy. This is the stuff that I think was what i was confused about don't you just uh, love a little moonlight we sure do we're excited to share the crystal creations utilizes the base game lunar cycle this means that crystal creation sims can search out crystals on their computer or pluck them off the crystal tree and once the crystal tree is cut into a gemstone the jewelry and gemstone can be changed the object must be placed on the crystal changing grid once changed the sim okay that's the thing we saw this thingy where or display their pieces ex experiencing their effect to the crystals to positively or negatively impact the relationships emotion and gain progress depending on the crystal and the effects of changing way wane over time and your sims will need to recharge the field of full effect once again with the introduction of three new crystals amber jade and moonstone there are currently 27 total of crystals across all packs for sims to discover sims can find crystals anywhere locate common uncommon and rare crystals and dig spots and rocks around yeah that all makes sense we've been playing this since before 
or you do like a rag super cute. We all know how to find a crystal. All right, the Sims um, find all different variations of crystals around Sims Tours, including. So we have the Sims Tours base game crystals, which they come with. Get to work, which they also do. Jungle Adventures, and now two, three more added. I didn't know that Jungle Adventures came with new crystals. I guess that does make sense, though. A lot of these are found in this grove. <laughs> Can you find the grove? It does require a little bit of work. So the ultimate crystal adventure isn't complete without a right dashing of mystery and intrigue. With times you collect your colorful crystals and flip into cozy crystal slippers, bejeweled leather boots, and a starry and clothing. I guess I guess that makes sense for the clothing. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. I can see what they're kind of doing for there. I don't love it, but I can see what they're doing. Uh, to add any more sparkle, check out the new hairs and spheres and metallic hoops or delicate joy. I'm wondering... You know what would be super cool to me is if you can put things in your hair. Like, you see how this has stuff in his hair? Their hair? I have to wonder, did the Sims team do that? Or, like, is that the, the way the hair is? Because if it, you can put things in the hair, that'd be pretty cool. And telling crystals and jewelry, relax in a cozy, humble abode equipped with soft variety of sofas staring into the mirrors embedded with crystals to develop a dreamy set of jewelry available in creosome featuring a necklace a ring and earrings her designs are delicate and sophisticated okay february 28th the day before it drops they are doing a walkthrough and everything drops at the same time on february 29th which is 1 p.m est time i'm just going to look it up accordingly oh it's aretha oh i love aretha yeah okay that's cute i'm happy they went to a custom content creator Alright, well, that being said, that's the trailer. My thoughts are, it's crystally. <laughs> I think some of the pieces look cute. I don't think everything looks cute. I think some of it looks good. Not everything. I don't think this is going to be a slam dunk like their last experiment was with the cooking. I think the cooking was like, ooh, wow, totally changed the game a little bit. I think the engagement rings could change the game here. And also, if you can put things in your hair. Those are things that excite me. So, will I be buying? I don't know if I'll be buying right away, to be honest with you. But if I do end up picking up the pack eventually, I will review it here on the channel. Like I always do. It just might be a little bit after it comes out. We have a lot of stuff going on. February is a hectic month. So, I, I don't really know if I'll be able to get to it. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give me a thumbs up or comment below. And I'll tell you guys next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.